So we're going to figure out what is the polarity, the actual polarity of this um, OB bond, and we're going to show dipole arrow, and we're going to show uh, partial charges as well, okay? So the more electronegative atom takes electrons more than the less electronegative atom. So a bond like this is a polar bond, okay? So it's not shared equivalently, okay? Something that would be nonpolar would be like two atoms that have the same electronegativity. So like Cl2 or something like that. That would be a nonpolar molecule. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we have to figure out, well, what is the electronegativity of each of these elements? Again, you have to be given an electronegativity table to do this. If you don't, you can't do an actual problem like this, okay? But you could say which one is more electronegative, right? You could do that. Okay, but, well, let's do that without putting numbers. Which one's more electronegative, oxygen or boron? Oxygen. oxygen, right? Okay, so if we wanted to, we could put the partial charges now. Delta minus, that means partially negative. Delta plus means partially positive, okay? So the other thing is, is dipole arrows. The same, it represents the same thing as these partial positive, partial negatives. Okay, the di dipole arrow starts um, with the butt having a positive charge, okay, and the head going towards the more electronegative atom, okay? Now let's figure out what is the actual polarity of this bond, okay? So we have to look up there, and oxygen, it says, is what? 3.5, and it's devised, and boron is? 2.0 divides, okay? So this is a covalent molecule, we, or a covalent bond. We know that because they're shared, but we want to know how shared they are, okay? So how do I know what the bond polarity is? Polarity is going to be um, 3.5 divides minus 2.0 divides, so that's 1.5 divides, so that's a pretty polar bond, okay? So nonpolar starts at like 0.4 divides, okay? Nonpolar, uh, 0.4 and down. Um, so this is getting closer to ionic bonds, okay? But this is polar covalent. And polar just means to have a negative and a positive portion of that entity, in this case the bond. Okay, any questions on that one?